Hey guys! So in this video we are going to answer the question Knowing what you know now, Frederick, would you choose Go as your first programming language? So let's get into it! This was a question I got just the other day and it was kind of bundled together with a bunch of other questions. I'll make a video for each one of them and we'll walk, walk through them together, just you and me. But this one was a little bit special because, well, it kind of, it's a, it kind of entails that there is such a thing as a right answer here. And there's not, unfortunately, because there's so many factors that play in into whether or not something is a good first programming language. And I've touched on this in a few other videos, but hey, I'll touch on it again, because this answer is going to be slightly different from some of the other videos. So let's answer it first and foremost. Now that I have a few years of experience working as a software developer and I've seen the industry, I am by no means a master programmer or anything like that, but I do like to think that I have a good handle on things and I, I've seen some stuff. Would I consider Go to be a first choice for who? Well, I suppose that the question was, it was asked by a junior programmer or a soon-to-be junior programmer, so I suspect that this person is looking to have the answer in the format of for me, like for that person they are asking for themselves. And the plain and simple answer to, that I gave was very was this basically. I said no. I think that that is a it's a poor first choice. Why do I say this? Well, I'm glad you asked. You see, the reason why I say that Go is a bad first programming language for an absolute beginner is very simple. You see, you may believe that these programming languages that are being hyped such as Go, for example, because Go is right now very, very popular in the IT community. But what you lack as an, under an understanding of as a, as a beginner programmer is why it's so hyped. Why is it so popular? Who are the people who are using it? Ask yourself that question. And if you really think about it, who is it that's telling you that this is such a great thing, that it's such a great, great language? Well, most likely it's bloggers and professional programmers who have started using it and they have kind of realized that, who cool, there's so much power here and you can do all these amazing things with Go. Are you that person? Where you are right now in your career, are you a professional level programmer? Well, odds are that you're not. If you're asking the question, what if, if someone like myself would have picked Go as a first language, you're most, not, most likely not a professional. So what is very easy to forget is that the reason why other software developers, professional software developers, find Go as an, an interesting choice or a good choice is very different from... The, their perspective is going to be very different from the perspective of a junior. The thing I told a subscriber of mine was this. If you pick Go as your first programming language, it will simply be, you, you, you will not be able to leverage the power. Plain and simple, you have no frame of reference. You don't know why Go is a good, or rather why the people who are telling you that Go is a good language, they ha you have no idea why they're saying that it's a good language. You, all you have is Go. You have nothing to compare it to. So how do you know it's a good choice? Because I can tell you what's not good about Go that I think is even more important to a beginner programmer than maybe the performance, the asynchronicity, and all of that stuff. All that power is great for somebody who knows how to use it, but a junior does not know how to leverage these things in an effective manner. And it will just be another programming language. To a junior, Go is just another programming language, plain and simple. But the downside with it is that it is an emerging language, which means that the amount of jobs available is lower, the amount of learning resources is lower, and the amount of quality help that you can get is also lower because the community is smaller. So if you as a beginner 
are interested in learning programming, why would you choose that language? It's the same type, uh, it's what I said, I, I had another subscriber who asked me about Elixir and I told them the same thing. Elixir is one of my favorite languages, but that's coming from the perspective of somebody who already know the basics. I already know how to program in several other programming languages. I've already gone through the basics. So for me, the perspective is different from, you, from what it's going to be for you. And that's why you need to ask yourself where you are in your career. I know that all these programming languages that are being hyped seem sexy, they seem nice, they seem great. But you should know that at the end of the day, software development on the whole is not about sexy, innovative technology. It is about shipping features and producing software that works. That's it. Most companies do not invest in trendy technology just because it's trendy. They invest in, they have different reasons for investing in something. So, as I said, Go is one of these languages where you don't, we at this point in time, of course there are going to be companies out there using it. So I'm not saying that there are no jobs. I'm simply stating that there are companies who are, there are more companies that are going to look for people that are using say C Sharp or, or, or Java because the language is more, has been around for longer, there's more people depending on it, etc, etc, etc. So that's the question you have to ask yourself. Are you, what are you looking for in your first programming language? I can just remember back to when I started, what I was looking for was very simple. It was very simple. All I wanted to be able to do as a junior software developer I wanted to do the broad, be able to do the broadest range of things because I knew that it's going to take me a while to learn my second and third and get the experience so that I can do any, anything I want. So I figured, hey, I want a language that can let me do almost anything and give me a good, good starting point that I can then build on and get better at other more specialized languages and so forth and so forth. So that I feel, so that I'm broad, going broad and being the sort of person that is easy to hire, but you can kind of throw in to any type of problem. And my first choice was Java and JavaScript. I learned JavaScript in tandem. I basically studied all day when I was at university to learn Java. And in the evenings I studied JavaScript and Node. And with my journey so far and looking back and answering this question is go a first programming a good first choice now that i've gone through most of my uh, a big part of that journey at least as a beginner i still say that that is probably the best choice even today i would still say that it doesn't have to be java it could be it can be c sharp and the dot net framework basically as well i still think that for a beginner the, this is the best starting point. And I don't say this just because I'm a hipster. I say this because, as I stated earlier, if you choose a highly specialized language, such as Elixir or Go or anything like any of these fancier languages, it will just be another programming language to you. You don't know, you, 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 you might as well learn, you can learn programming from any language. And all you, the only reason why you're choosing Go, you're, this is why I argue what I argue. You are not making an informed decision on why you want to use Go. You simply have been sold the idea that this is a good thing, but you have no idea of why it's a good thing. And if that's your situation, you might as well pick something that will be, give you a better starting point because Go is not going to give you the best start as a beginner. It will not. And you can flame me as much as you want, but it won't for the reasons I've just stated. What does it matter if it has asynchronous or go routine? What does go routines matter to you if you don't care about performance, which you most likely are not going to care about when you're first starting out? Then you might as well use Java. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying that once you have learned the basics, then you transition in, or rather then you go, come armed with some type of reference knowledge so that you can look at Go again and say, hey, 
I, now I understand why Go is so useful, because I've had all these other issues in this other language, and Go solves that in a very nice way. That's when you're making an, inf an informed decision. So that's my answer. My answer is no. Go is not a good first programming language for an absolute beginner. The best first language I will argue for an absolute beginner is JavaScript, because it will give you, it will make you empower you the quickest. It will allow you to do the widest range of things as quickly as possible. If that's not your flavor, I suggest you use Java or C Sharp, with .NET being kind of the important part there. And just start there. These are not the sexiest technologies around. They're not the most popular technologies around, but they have the most amount of jobs. They have the most amount of learning resources, and they will teach you absolutely everything about programming. Have a great day.